Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the southern desert, east across the river from Naranex Span, building a school. This build was suggested by Bree Freeman on my Marble Bank build guide, so thanks for the suggestion Bree. I'll be building this school as a general purpose, non-residential place of learning, aiming for quite a grand structure with some very light gothic influences. As with my previous videos, this build was previously streamed live on Twitch. If you'd like to see upcoming builds before they make it to YouTube, and have input on them in real time, feel free to drop me a follow over on Twitch so you don't miss my next stream. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off of NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eredyt, or use code eredyt at checkout. To find out more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN, Stick around to the end of the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I'll start by using fence foundations to draw out a large rectangle, then creating a buffer around all sides and drawing out where I'm planning to build the rooms. I'll be using stable floors within the school to create a comfortable floor texture, but also using arena floors in the kitchen area on the right hand side of the ground floor and around the buffer, as these will be work and outdoor areas respectively. I also placed a gateway right at the front of the build to allow entry into the school. Next for the walls. I had a plan to use the buffer between the school and the outside perimeter of the fence foundations to create some architectural detail, sort of like a cover over the main body of the school. I built walls at regular intervals to start this cover, and then I intended to build large windows between the gaps in the cover. I played around with a couple of different designs and ended up settling upon a large window design made using arena doorways, filled with the iron arena doors. I think this works okay. Better options exist if you're building with mods, but I wanted the construction that's built to be vanilla, and thus I think it works fine for the purpose and I do grow to like it more and more over the course of the build. I continued to build walls and windows around the school, building the first floor up two tiles high and separating the rooms. Next for the first floor. I built a long corridor at the back of the first floor where all of the students lockers will be held and I then covered the top of the classrooms and kitchen respectively. I 
I continue to build up the walls of the architectural cover and the school itself, again including windows at regular intervals to get plenty of natural light into the build. I then worked some more on the cover, building it up to match the height of the walls and using vaulted ceiling pieces to create a smooth transition into the school wall. Next for the roof. I had a fairly simple idea for a roof, with a multi-height roof with two decorative towers rising up from the roof. I initially attempted a uniform roof from which the towers would rise up, however I realised that I'd run into not only stability issues, but also the roof would probably look quite boring in a uniform fashion. I also opted to use black ice roof pieces. I initially was going to use reinforced stone roof pieces, however black ice just looked better.
I adjusted the size of the towers as I built to fit the taper of the roof, which ended up working really nicely and turned out to be an interesting and fairly unique roof design when combined with the spike towers.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the school, I've lit the build with hanging and wall-mounted terrarium braziers, and added some small gardens outside to get some more natural elements into the school. Entering the build, this is a fairly streamlined structure designed for about 20 or so students. Entering the first left side room, reach the first classroom. I think the structure of this room works really well, and the experimental windows with the arena door frames actually turned out to work quite well, and they don't immediately jump out as being out of place, which is what I was worried about. Heading into the second classroom, this one is laid out a tad differently, and again is quite simple, but is made more visually interesting by the structure and architectural details. Heading into the right side of the ground floor, we reach the canteen and kitchens. This is designed as a fairly normal school kitchen where food is served throughout the day and has plenty of room for the students. Heading upstairs, the large corridor includes plenty of cupboards, which work as individual lockers for the students. The left side room on the first floor is a small auditorium, where group lectures can be given, along with where assemblies can be held regarding events within the school. Finally, we reach the right side room on the first floor, which is the library. These bookshelves are from the Immerse RP mod, I believe, and work quite well. I wanted to avoid using mods, but I'm still surprised there are no bookshelves in the base game. Hopefully Funcom will add some soon, I feel like they're one of the core items that shouldn't really be missing at this point. This room is quite tightly packed, but it's not uncomfortable and it works quite nicely.
And there we have it, a school in the southern desert, east across the river from Naranek Span. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Bree for the suggestion. I enjoy this build a lot, and it gave me some ideas for a much bigger school at some point in the future. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, all whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN with use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income. So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, M Mortem, and Daniel Dahlgreen. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.